Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have something special for you and in this video we will install our own automation server called NN8. NN8 is a free and open source alternative to Zapier, Make, Integratorly or any other automation software. What makes NN8 really great is that it is fully self-hostable, it is GDPR compliant, you can set it up through Cloudflare Tunnel, Nginx Proxy Manager, Kedi, or you can just run it in your local host if you have some home automations and those kind of things. So after the intro, uh, we will prepare our NN8 server. In this tutorial, we will set it up through Cloudflare Tunnel. And yeah, after end of this video, you will have your own automation server and you can say goodbye to Zapier or any third-party automation providers. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, NNA is an alternative to Zapier or any other automation software. You can build complex automations 10 times faster without fighting API. What's really great is when we go to the features and integrations, you can see there is almost 400 integrations that you can set up the applications like Google Sheets, Telegram, Slack, Notion, Airtable, etc. But you are not limited to only those because, as you can see, it supports the webhooks and also it supports the various HTTP requests. So there is no limitations what automations you can set it up. If you don't want to manage your server or create the self-hosted applications, you still can go with the NN8 cloud offerings, which is really great if you want to support this project and you want to have everything managed. As you can see, the pricing is not so bad. It's 20 euros a month or 50 for pro, but you will get a lot of automations and steps and those kind of things. So the choice is yours. But in this video, we will set up our own NN8 server. So for a server, I recommend uh, using Hetzner because it is really cheap. With four gigabyte server around seven US dollars, you can get eight gigabyte of this space, 20 terabytes of traffic, and that's really, really great. So I will uh, create the server, set up the local user, disable authentication, and those kind of good things. And uh, we will proceed with the NN8 installation. So we have our server prepared and secured. And what we want to do now is to create some folders. So first, when you log in through your uh, local user, not root user, you want to create a folder for uh, Docker, mkdiy docker. You go to the Docker folder, and now you want to create mkdiy folder for the NNA software. And inside of NNA folder, you want to create Docker Compose file. So you're gonna touch docker compose the demo second folder will be for the local files if you want to send some pictures or any file through your automation those will be stored in this folder so mkdir uh, local files and the last folder will be hidden folder for nn8 of configurations and data so mkdrr.nn8. That means the folder is hidden. So now when we have those folders, what you need to do, you need to copy the configuration file from the documentation I prepared. You click it, you copy to the clipboard, move back to the terminal and do nano docker compose.yaml and you paste it. So now we need to specify some environment variables. 
So we're gonna set up our NNA instance on uh, basically we can do NNA. We're gonna do automate.webnestify.org. You can copy it. Uh, port is gonna be 5678. If you have any other port in use, you need to change it in the port and also here. And the production, that's fine. And webhook URL will be the same like the NNA host. For the time zone, set up your own time zone where you are. If you have some time sensitive automations, so in my case is Europe Amsterdam. SMTP, if you want to receive email and notifications, you need to set up your SMTP. If you have your postmark, you can easily do it here. And usually postmark, you want to authenticate on port 587, uh, 587, which is TLS. So you SMTP SSL gonna be false. And here is duplicate line, I'm gonna remove it. And basically, you can set up also the NNA default local for your language. You need to check documentation what languages it supports. And for the volumes, as we created those folders, we need to set up those volume here. So I'm going to exit it. And now when we are in NNA folder, we just type PWD to get the path for the folders. And we're going to open the compost file again. And we're going to edit. That's fine. Make sure everything is all right and correct. Looks OK. Control O and enter to confirm. Control X to exit. And now we will set up our Cloudflare tunnel. So let's go back to our browser. And if you don't have Cloudflare account or domain in Cloudflare, add your domain to Cloudflare is easy to use. And once you have it, you go to the access and you will launch the Zero Trust dashboard. So here we are in our Zero Trust dashboard. And uh, if you don't have this, you can follow also my guide for Cloudflare access on my YouTube channel. And basically what you want to do is to select a free Zero Trust account. Once you have it, you go to Access, Tunnels, and we will create our NNA tunnel. Save the tunnel. And now you want to select Debian because we are running Ubuntu, which is based on Debian. Architecture is 64. And you copy this command and you just paste it in the terminal and enter your local user password and it should install within a couple of seconds. As you can see, the Cloudflare is installed and when we go to our browser, we should already see the connections from our server to the Cloudflare. We click next. Uh, subdomain is going to be automation webnestify.org. Uh, for the service, will be HTTP, URL, localhost, and the port we set in the configuration. So let me check. Cut. And the port is 5678 and domain is automate. Okay, let me copy this. It's gonna be 5678 and domain automate. And that's basically it. You just save the tunnel. And we can now proceed with the NNA installation. So back to our terminal. And what you want to do is type just docker compose up hyphen D and it will pull all the images for NN8. 
Once our images are pulled, you can verify it by typing Docker PS. And as you can see, we are up and running. And when you copy the container ID, and you type Docker logs and you paste the container ID, you can see that we can now access our NN8 instance. Let's go back to the browser and you just type automate.webnestify.org and as you can see you can now create your account. So let me do that. And you can skip this, it's up to you if you want to send some uh, general data to NN8. Just, hit, just click get started and here, here is your automation dashboard. So let me zoom in a little bit. And when you go to the settings, as you can see, unlimited workflows. Here you can enter the security things, the password and your name. You can invite your developers or your end users here, if you wish. For the NNA API that is currently in beta, for environments, if you have multiple instances, you will need to get the license key from NN8. And also if you want to enable SSO, you also need enterprise because this is enterprise feature. And for the LDAP, also enterprise, but basically in the community edition, you are not limited to anything. You can automate everything. As we can get our first steps, you can see you can run on app event, on schedule, webhooks manually. So let me go to app event and here you can select the various applications that you want to use. Or if you have, for example, WS forms and you want to enter the contact form data to your sheets, you just do the webhook and HTTP method will be post because you want to post data from WS forms to your NN8 server. I'm not going to demonstrate uh, any automations, otherwise this video would be really long, but uh, it is really easy to use. If you are using Zapier or Make, definitely try NN8. Follow the documentations that I create and you will be up and running within five minutes. So what can I say? I'm also using NN8 uh, in my business in some cases and uh, I'm completely happy with it. It just works, you know, it just works. So, and I don't need to spend a lot of money for Zapier or those kind of things. So guys, I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to answer those. And if you need help with any applications or with a securing or server, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to deploy any applications on your server. So stay awesome and stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.